What's up everybody, Gamerboy for Life here, and today I'm gonna be continuing on on my hack client series, and today we're gonna be adding a alt manager. So what this basically will do, here let me start up Minecraft so I can give you a quick example. Alright, I just gotta wait for it to load. Uh, so what this is gonna do is when you are inside of Eclipse, you're gonna be able to log in with your Minecraft account so you can test stuff on servers without having to go to uh like exporting the client every time you want to test something out online you could just test it directly inside of eclipse and what this will enable you to do is when let's say you get banned on a server you can just switch to an alt account without restarting your game and just log in so right now as you can see it's minecraft realms uh we're going to be replacing minecraft realms with a different button and that will enable us to go online so let's just get straight into the video first things first i'm going to go into our default package and make a new package inside of here and we're going to name this alt and i'm going to be using a api so it's someone else's code but i'm going to be showing you guys how to implement it uh, i do not take any credit for making this alt manager i am saying this now all uh credits go out to one they all go out to vex trail or vex trawl however you want to say it and credit goes out to ve 4k for updating it uh and uh porting it to 1.8.8 basically so when you get to this github page we're going to go to code and download it as a zip file now we're going to go we're just going to minimize eclipse for now uh I had my OBS showing on the screen, my bad. And I already have this downloaded quite a few times. So what you'll do is just extract it and then go into the extracted files, go into me, tireman, hexa, alts until you find all these Java files. And we're just gonna drag and drop them into alt and just copy all the files and bam, we do not need that anymore. So now if we open up alt, we can see all of these errors. So let's just open up each class one by one. I'm going to show you guys how to fix everything in here. So the first one I'm going to start out with is GUI alt manager, and we're going to change the package declaration. And there is a few things I will be changing about tire man's or not tire man. I'm going to be changing about uh, this API one. This is using the altning uh, services, which are very outdated at this moment that I'm aware of all uh, the altning, like all accounts do not work anymore. Um, they got patched and they just don't work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slash all this out, which will basically make it a comment. That way we're not completely deleting all the code. So before we can continue uh on with the gui alt manager as you can see when we go down here it says your client dot instance dot alt manager we got to go into our client up here where we have all these public statics uh and then the classes we're gonna do another one called public static alt manager and we're just gonna name it alt manager with a capital or with a lowercase i mean and end it and we're gonna import all right, so it's still saying me dot tire man. Oh wait, I told you guys the wrong one. We gotta start with alt manager, my bad. And we're just gonna change the package package declaration and close out. And now we can import it as ours. And now we're gonna go down to here, right below click GUI, but before Discord RP. And we're gonna do alt manager equals a new instance basically of the alt manager class and there so now we're going to go back in the gui alt manager and so your client we're just going to name it paradox and we're going to import our class and that should get rid of the errors we're going to go down as you can see this is more altening stuff so if you follow along with my cursor we're going to delete all of this just from we're going to completely delete it from the class we're going to scroll down some more this.mc.session we got to change this to public public and that will get rid of that error all right so right here we got to change this one to paradox 
And now GUI.drawString, if we hover over it, we're going to see tons of things. You're going to want to remove arguments to match. And that's the one you want to do. Do not, um, it's the second one where you can change like the actual variable of it. And don't do that because it will break all of the Minecraft code. So we're, we're just going to continue on uh, down here. We got to change it. Oh, crap. Wrong one. Don't click that, my bad. Hover over and remove arguments to match. So it would just say this.mc. So GUI alt manager is done. We're gonna go to password field. Uh, again, we're just gonna change the package declaration. For a lot of these, we just have to change the password declaration and that's really all we have to change. All right, so this class should be fixed. Maybe, what's the error? Uh, this dot event button, we have to change the visibility to protected, which we will do. And now that class is done. GUI alt login. We're going to change package, package declaration. GUI add alt. We're going to change the package declaration. And we're going to scroll down. All right. So here he has hexa dot the client. I'm just going to press control F, which will bring this up. We're going to click the little arrow right here. We're going to type into hexa dot the client and replace it with paradox dot instance. And now that will change it all and we got to import our paradox class and now gui login thread i think this one is a simple one and we, yeah we just got to delete this import and if we scroll down yep once again it's just we're gonna replace it with paradox dot instance yep alrighty i'm actually gonna copy this just in case we got to put it in more and we're going to import it. Why is this giving us an error? Minecraft cannot be resolved to a type. Okay, if I scroll up, Minecraft. Oh, we ac I accidentally deleted Minecraft, apparently. Oops. Uh, that should fix it. If we remove final, yep, from Minecraft, that doesn't break anything. And it allows it to work. So now we're going to go over here. This package declaration was rigged, so we're going to click on this and add package declaration. And that's it. So our alt package is done. And now to actually add it in, we're going to press Control Shift R. We're going to go to GUI main menu, press Control F and look for 14. Continue going down. So the button on the main screen of Minecraft, the realms button has an ID number named 14. So it, we are basically getting rid of realms functions with this. We could add a new button if we really wanted to, but just for this video, I will be uh, just changing the realms button. So we're going to do this dot MC dot GUI uh, display GUI screen. And it's going to be a new alt, uh, new GUI alt manager. And we got to import our GUI alt manager. And now if we start up Minecraft, let's just let it load. Uh, it still says Minecraft realms. Okay. Anyways, uh, I could just show you that it is working. We forgot, I forgot to change the, so it doesn't say Minecraft realms. It'll say something else. But right now, if we click on Minecraft realms, we should see all of this. But like I said, the altening doesn't work anymore, so these two buttons are useless. So what I'm actually going to do is go back into GUI Alt Manager, scroll down until we find those buttons right here, and I'm just going to slash these out. So make them a comment, basically, and that will get rid of those two buttons. Uh, let's go back into the GUI Main Menu class and find Realms. So what we got to do is find, I think this is the one. Yeah, so it's saying uh, this dot realms button equals new GUI button. Instead of being menu dot online, we're going to change this to say menu dot uh, alt manager. Or I think we could just do alt manager and that will work. So if I press control S and run it, I run it as debug just so I can change stuff like in the code without having to restart Minecraft. 
It's a loading paradox client. This should. Yep. Uh, now it says alt manager. And if we click on it and since we slash those two out, it's working. Uh, just to show you guys that it is working. I am inside of Eclipse. I'm going to add my Minecraft account. So I will be blurring this part out. Oh, all right. That just added an offline name. That's not what I wanted to do. Trying alt, alt added the email. And now if I back out, I could delete this one and a gamer boy for life. As you can see, that is me. So I can log in as him. Hi, sorry for the interruption. This is future me editing the video. I did forget to mention when you add an alt and when you restart the game, it does not save it. Uh, here, I will demonstrate what I'm talking about super quickly. All right, so with this alt, if we log in, and you can see, like, I can go to servers, play online, yada, yada, yada. Now, if we restart the game, now that the game's restarted, if we go back into alt manager, as you can see, there's nothing in here. We're back to being player 854. Uh, the reason for this is we haven't put in a what's called a file manager so it's not able to save all of these uh alts until we add that file manager and i will be doing that in an upcoming video i don't think it will be the next one but it will be pretty soon so bear with me and back to the video all right so as you can see it connected successfully let me delete these two out of our server now if i load it in if you see on the top left, Paradox, if I press right shift, we have all of our mods. Uh, here, should I try getting banned on this server, boys? If I just enable flight, will this ban me? But look, I'm flying around on a public server. And there you go. Uh, that will be it for this video. If you guys did like, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe. I think I keep saying this. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if I can manage that, I will release my public discord server. Or uh, uh, If I don't meet it, I might make another little challenge for you guys to accomplish. Because I do want to upload the server, but I don't want to do it until we reach a goal. And my goal, I want to hit a thousand subscribers. So make sure you press that subscribe button, please. Like, please.